Script case enthusiasts, and welcome back to another episode here, Macro Day at Script Case by Jamie. And today we are tackling the SC Select macro, a crucial tool that we use all the time for executing SQL commands and handling the resulting data set within, of course, our Script Case applications. Unlike SC Lookup, SE Select gives you full control over the data set manipulation, meaning maybe SC Select is better than SC Lookup. But then again, it of course depends on what you're working on. So let's dive in and see how it works and explore some practical examples. So what is SC Select? Well, the SC Select macro, it executes SQL commands and then it assigns the result to a data set variable. So it's your responsibility to, of course, manage that data set, including iterating over rows and handling any errors. So this macro is perfect for various scenarios where you would need more control over your data retrieval process. So how to use it? Well, the easiest and best example that I can give you is right here within your application, here within the examples. Just choose here, or should I say click, on this green one, because when it's green and highlighted, it means it's available for this function or event, okay? And if it's not, then maybe you want to open a different event, paste it in there, and then you can maybe try to use it within where you're trying to use it. So it's right here, check for an existing record. And that uses here the SC select macro. And if I just separate that here from our select code, because here we are choosing our database table, we're setting up our table here and choosing where our field is or indicating our field, as well as the condition on which we are selecting it. And then we have here our SC select, which runs then the data set and then checks here our query, which is here, our check SQL. So here we have our select star from whatever table we define up here and whatever field under whatever condition. And then we have our data set available to us where we can then go ahead and of course manage our data. Now, there are quite a few examples within the macro documentation and looking at one of those that we have that right here. So in this case, we are selecting the client ID, the client name, the credit limit of that customer from the customer's table. And then if that data exists, well, then we're going to echo. And if that data, it does not exist, then we will echo that out. And otherwise, we will then display that data. So here we will be then displaying or applying here our field to our client name and then iterating over that. And of course, let's not forget, we can always use variables within this. So the next example has that within the macro documentation. And we have here the SC select macro. And here we're using a field variable as well as a global variable. And you can use those within any of these examples that I have just displayed you. And of course, this macro should be definitely added into your script case macro arsenal because it is the one you will be using a great deal. So do always remember with this macro to always finish off your commands with the semicolon here. Now, sometimes when you copy your code from the script case website, the semicolon here may be missing and you may have to add it. So do make sure your code is finished. And of course, if it's not, it will generate an error anyway. So, you know, it's just like the old days with white space, right? The SC select macro can be used in a wide array of script case applications and events. Again, meaning it has a really nice scope 
of applications it supports within Scriptcase. And that would be the blank calendar chart, grid, search form, control menu, tree menu, and report PDF applications. So it is pretty versatile, fitting into events such as the on execute, on select in it, on load, on validate, and of course, many others because it's one of those macros now this does ensure that you can execute now this does ensure that you can execute sql commands wherever needed within your applications so the sd select macro is a super powerful asset for us developers needing precise control over sql command execution as well as data set manipulation within script case applications so whether you're fetching complex data sets or performing detailed database operations. SE Select provides the flexibility and control required for your advanced data handling. So thanks very much for joining me today on this macro day here at Scriptcase by Jamie. And if you've enjoyed this macro video, then you know what to do. Be sure to be here next week and watch the next one. And always remember, the Knights of the Round Table, we dance whenever we are able to, just, <laughs> don't we? Now, yeah, that's a good one. Okay, so thanks very much for watching, and of course, until the next video.